Hi students, today we are into a new topic, new chapter, metals and non-metals. Elements are classified into two basic categories, that are metals and non-metals. There are about 90 elements up to uranium that are found naturally. Beyond uranium, we call transuranium elements have been produced artificially in the laboratories by nuclear reactions. Metals are elements which forms positive ion by losing electron. That is, they are electropositive elements. For example, sodium, magnesium, potassium, aluminium, copper, silver, gold, etc. Whereas, non-metals are elements which form negative ions by gaining electrons. That is, they are electronegative elements. For example, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, etc. Next, physical properties of metals. First one, hardness. Most of the metals are hard, except alkali metals such as sodium, potassium, lithium, etc. These metals are soft metals. That is, alkali metals like sodium, potassium, lithium are soft metals. They can be cut by using a knife. Property number two, strength. Most of the metal are strong and they have high tensile strength. Because of this, big structures are made using metals like copper, iron, and but some of the metals, as I told before, metals like sodium and potassium are very soft. Third property is state. Metals are generally solid at room temperature, except for mercury. But metals like gallium and cesium becomes liquid when you keep them in your palm. Property number four, sonorous. Metals produce ringing sound, so metals are called sonorous. Sounds of metal is also known as metallic sound. This is the cause that metal wires are used in making musical instruments. Property number five, good conductors of heat and electricity. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. This is the cause that electric wires are made of metals like copper, aluminum, etc. Property number six, malleability. Metals are malleable. This means metals can be beaten into thin sheets. Because of this property, iron is used in making big ships or metals like gold and silver are used for making jewelry. Property number seven, ductility. Metals are ductile. This means metals can be drawn into thin wire. Because of this property, a wire is made up of metals. Property number eight, melting and boiling point. Metals have generally high melting and boiling points. But metals like sodium, potassium, etc. have low melting and boiling point. Property number nine, density. Most of the metal have high density. So these are the nine physical properties of metals. For in the next class, we'll be studying the physical properties of non-metals. Until then, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.